services in any form. But that isn't the case, is it? Why are you making cuts to the army? And in turn, will that mean that you're calling on our reserves more and their employers? First of all, uh, this is an increase in spending on the armed services, 14% above what I actually campaigned on in the, uh, in the general election. It's 14% bigger than the manifesto promise. It's the biggest spending on the armed services uh, since the end of the, of the Cold War, uh, tw you know, £24 billion. Pounds. And uh, individual uh, serving men and women should be reassured there, there are no redundancies in, involved in this. What we're trying to do is to create a, a, a step change, a, a hyperleap forward in terms of the, uh, the technology that we, we use. And so this tempest that you've, you, you've got here, or this mock-up of a, of a tempest, is, uh, is going to be funded, or, 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 or you know, a large chunk of the, of the development is funded by this commitment. And you know, without it, we, we wouldn't be able to develop the kind of kit that we're going to need in the, in the decades ahead. So we have to take some brave decisions. We have to recognise that sometimes uh, bits of equipment that we've all got attached to over a long time aren't as safe or as uh, effective as they, as they used to be. And you do need to, to modernise and, and to move forward. And uh, modernisation uh, in the 21st century is, is, is expensive, but we're, we're making that investment. You plan increased forward deployment around the world. Does that mean asking military personnel to perhaps stay away from home more? Is that going to be more of an upheaval for them, especially during a time of pay freezes? I hope that it won't be more of an upheaval for, for anybody. Don't forget that we've also got wraparound childcare for armed services family. We believe strongly in looking after our armed services in the way that they look after us.